Hey, welcome to Creating with Gorilla Art. Today we're going to be making this super cute mermaid. Miss Tiffany and um, I create a lot of things for this channel creating with Gorilla Art and make sure you take a moment to subscribe because each week I try to come up with some new fun uh, art projects things that you might find around your house using recycled materials or some new things but definitely things that are easy I don't know about you guys but I'm a little bit obsessed with mermaids I just I love the whole fantasy thought of them and the sparkly glitter just everything about them. And I thought it would be really fun to create um, a mermaid on a piece of wood. So I've got a piece of wood. This is a one by four, meaning it's one inch this way and four inches this way. And I sanded it really good. Let's talk about the other supplies you're going to need today. We're going to be using acrylic paint. I've got some blue paint in here that I actually added a few squirts of water to it so so it gets very watery the reason I did that is when I painted this you don't have to but I like I wanted it to dry super fast and I wanted to kind of still see the wood grain through it so that's why I added the water you can see the wood grain right there that's why I added the water so we've got watered down blue paint I have a uh, metallic blue, I have white, and I have purple. Now you can pick any color you want to do your mermaid. I just thought purple was a nice fun color. Um, I don't think you want to pick blue though because I mean you could do a really dark blue. You just don't want it to be the same color as your sky because it'll be hard to kind of see the difference. You want a contrasting. So you could do a green would be really pretty, a pink, a very dark blue would be nice. Uh, you pick. It is definitely your project to do. Now down here, I did not paint it a sand color. I actually put glue down and I added sand and I added a little glitter to that sand right along there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all that. You're going to need glitter, and you do need yarn, some sort of pretty yarn. Let me show you what I've got. I'm gonna show you how to make the little hair. Isn't that pretty? I, I thought it would be fun for the mermaid with all the multicolors, but whatever yarn you have will work. Um, and I will show you how to do that a little later. You wanna have some seashells, doesn't matter what kind. And this is made out of paper here this one here but I if I have time I might um, grab some popsicle sticks and show you how you can do it with popsicle sticks but that's just paper brown paper so if you don't have popsicle sticks you can use paper and glitter of course gotta have glitter white glue that's it oh one more thing almost forgot you're going to need a pencil or a chalk something to outline your mermaid. I just did uh, a silhouette of a mermaid. What you can do is you can probably Google um, mermaid silhouette and find something printed on your printer and and then cut it out and then use it as a stencil to make your mermaid. Or you can just hand draw it. I've got the body here, the little tail. And honestly, it doesn't matter too much what happens up in this spot because as you can see with this one, the only thing showing are the shoulders and the arm right here. So really, it's a very simple drawing. You ready to get started? I know I am. Gather your supplies and meet me back here. You are gonna need a paintbrush. I almost forgot to tell you that. A paintbrush and like a paper towel to, you know, once you use your water bowl that you're gonna need. You need to dry your brush. So I'm gonna start off with painting the sky. 
And like I said, I added a little water in here, so it's very loose. See that? And I'm just gonna go back and forth, side to side. I'm not doing crazy all different directions. I'm gonna go all the way down to the line, to my horizon line. I don't think I'm gonna paint the sides of it. I'm just gonna stick to the top, but you can do what you want. One of my little tricks to getting really close is I like to press my brush real close to it and then drag it along the line. You can do that all along that tail. And you know what, if a little blue gets onto that body, especially even the head, you won't see it at all. Like I said, it's gonna be covered. The head part's gonna be covered. And then just cover this up. This is a great project to do like on scrap wood. You know, ask your, your parents if there's, if there's any extra wood that you might have in the house. You could do this on cardboard. Um, you know, like a if you had an old cereal box, if, you know, an empty cereal box, you could cut it up and, and do this on that. But I like the wood. I love painting on wood. I actually like to paint on different surfaces other than a, um, like a white canvas. Heck, I like painting on anything. But wood does make it kind of fun. And that wood, it really sucks up that paint. Likes to absorb it. Get it around here. Now, I'm not going to worry about underneath here because... Uh, you know, that's going to be the sand part. Okay, so I got that all painted. That was pretty simple, and it really didn't take a lot of paint. It's great for any leftover paint. I'm going to wash my brush. Cover this back up. I'm going to go ahead and paint my mermaid now. Let's see. I want to do it this dark, I clean my brush, I'm going to take this dark purple and I'm going to paint the tail. Just like that. Remember, if you press and drag, it'll give you a really crisp line. Press and drag. And since you're going to be putting glitter on this, it's not going to matter. You don't have to be too perfect with it. And the key is to put the glitter when it's wet. So I'm going to hurry up and do this and then I'm going to add the glitter when it's wet. You know, and you can't, I, like I said, you're going to have glue so you can always come back with the glue and, and do it. Now her little tail fins. I want them a little more wispy. I know it was kind of a straight line, but I want some wispy, wispy ones. So the way I do that is I press, drag, and then kind of lift it off. My mermaid's wispy. What can I say? Now this piece of wood isn't the best wood. Um, I've already made a real pretty one, but this, since I'm just doing a sample for um, all purposes, it's not really one I, I care too much about, but see that knot that's in there? That is not something you want, <laughs> excuse the pun, that is not something you want on your wood. So when you're picking your wood, try not to get that knot because this one actually is all the way through and I had to glue it in to keep it there. But since I'm just showing you kind of the idea of how to make it, I figured it didn't matter too much, um, you know, that it was in there. And I'll tell you what, I don't have my glitter with me right now, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about uh, putting the glitter on while it's wet. I'm gonna wait and add glue to it later, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Now I've got my tail done. And I want to paint the top part of her, but I don't want her to be the same 
color as her tail. So I'm gonna just dip into that white. Notice that I dipped in the edge of it, not like in the middle, because I don't wanna ruin my paint. And I'm gonna come over here and add a smidge of purple. And I'm making kind of a, a lilac color, lavender. Very light. Can you see that? I'm pretty happy with that color. And then I'm going to paint just even her head because you won't see her head at all. You really won't. Barely you'll see her shoulders. But I'm just gonna paint that real quick. When you're picking out your mermaid to draw, just keep it simple. This one's super simple. I think you guys could do it without even printing something. Like I said, it's really all about this little tail here. Okay. Oops, I gotta mix up some more lilac. Do you guys like mermaids too? Obviously, if you're, if you're painting this, you've gotta like mermaids. You can, I, I, you can do any color you want, really. Okay. So I've got that in there. I might just come back and, although you won't really see it. I'm gonna come and put little swishes in her tail just to give texture. And I'm using that lilac. If you notice, I'm pushing very gently with my brush. I'm, I'm not smashing it in. I'm just using the very tip and using that to create these little, pretty little wisps. Okay, wash my brush a smidge. Now I have a very fine detail brush here and I'm gonna dip it in the purple. I'm gonna come in and add a little line right here. This is gonna be like where her arm is. You probably won't see it with the hair there, but oh well. And then I'm gonna do a little, I added, see the lilac we made there? I added just a smidge more. I want it a smidge darker. And I'll do something down her back. Oh, you won't even see it, so you, you could skip that if you wanted. All right, what do you think of that? All right, I'm gonna let you get caught up here. Give it a good blow dry when you're done. Uh, pause me, obviously. Get caught up, give it a blow dry, and then meet me back here, and we'll finish up on the final thing. So, welcome back. I've got my clean brush. I'm gonna just add a little white to it, and we're gonna do something called dry brushing. I dipped it in the white, but I don't want to come in. I'm going to do clouds. I don't want to come straight on with the clouds. I want to have very almost see-through clouds. So we're doing something called dry brushing. We've dipped it in the white, and now I'm going to pat it on the paper towel. I'm not wiping off all of it, but a good amount. And we'll start over here, and I'm just doing these little bouncy clouds. I didn't want it to have a lot of paint because I almost want it to be translucent. Do you see that? Do you see how light that is? And that's because I had very, very little paint on my brush. It's almost dry, which is why they call it dry brushing. And look at that, that one dip. It's giving me all the clouds that I wanted. Very simple. Okay. Hi, Ruger. Ruger making noises over there. That's my doggy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna paint it just below that other blue. You can kind of make little waves if you want. It's a really simple, simple blue. I might put some in her tail just for fun. I don't know. Okay, so I've got that. A little bit right there, maybe right above her tail. 
You want it to look like that blue is in the distant, right? I got my blue in. Now we're gonna come in with the glue. Now I'm just using clear glue. You can use white glue too because white glue will dry clear. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna wipe it on here and then I'm going to paint it a little bit. You know what's funny is I didn't realize I need to come over here and finish that little blue thing. Clean my brush and I'm going to smear that glue all around. Now the sand I use, I got at the craft store. Um, if you really look at it, it doesn't even need anything else because it already looks like sand. So if you wanted to add a little sparkle or if you wanted to not do anything, you don't have to but I kind of stole this off this one, but this is my little bottle, which is super cute. Got it at the dollar store. And I'm just gonna, just a very little, I'm just gonna put it in. It doesn't need a lot. You don't need to cover every square inch. Just a little bit. And you definitely gotta just let it sit there. You can't lift it up now or anything. And now I'm going to put a little glitter on her body. So I've got to glue it down. And I'm just smearing that around. Make sure you put your brush in the water afterwards, otherwise you could be in a little trouble there. Now, you can use whatever glitter you want. I just happen to have some pre-mixed glitter here. Now remember, you're not going to lift this up. You're going to let it let it kind of dry a little bit. Oh, I like it. And then I'm going to be laying a few of these down. So I need to have more, gl more glue. It can't just be that little bit, you know, left over from the sand. There's a shell. I'm gonna need these. I think I forgot to tell you that you are gonna need some um, some shells. I got these from the dollar store as well. I need another one. Let's see. That's pretty. Let's do that one. I'll put this one right here. Glue. And then I'm going to be gluing my bottle like that. I'm not going to do it to this one since this is my, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep this one because of that problem. But this is what you would do. You glue it there and then I'm going to show you how to make the mermaid hair. So get caught up on that stuff and then meet me back here and I'm going to put this up here while it dries and then we're going to show you how to do the mermaid. See you in a minute. I would say about as long as my board. So I'm just going to grab it that and I'm going to loop it about eight times. See how I'm doing that? I'm pinching it where it ends. Oops, don't want to lose all of it. You got to be careful. And that's about four, five, six, seven, Eight. It looks good. And I'm gonna cut it off here. Now you may need help with this part. Okay, I don't know. This is I'm gonna kind of go to the middle. And watch how I do this. Put my finger here, okay? And this is gonna wrap around my finger. And then I'm going to kind of twist it around, and then I like to lift this part up, lift it up so that I can put all of that in through the hole. See that? And then I'm going to pull it. And you don't want to pull it really tight, but 
just a little bit. And that's the top of the head. I don't want it too tight. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece, okay, you're going to fold this down. There's two sides to it. There's a part where it kind of twists. You don't want that side. I'm going to fold it down like this. And then I'm going to wrap this around it. You might need help with this. This can be tricky. And I'm going to tie a knot behind. Let's see. Sometimes it helps if you have another hand, you know. Yeah. Oopsies. Now, what I'm gonna do, see how it, it looks like it's missing a little bit of something. I like to glue a little seashell there. And honestly, you can use the clear glue, um, but then you have to wait a while and it gets a little impatient. So if you have access or if you can get help, you can use hot glue. And I find that works just a smidge better. And we'll look for a seashell that I think would be pretty there. Oh, here we go. That could be pretty. You know, you figure like a mermaid would have a seashell right there. So I've got my glue and I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. Please get help with this, okay? Don't just use the glue gun without getting your parents' permission. Doesn't that kind of look like the back of a mermaid's hair? And then you want to cut all the little loops in there. I'm actually going to cut, it's really long. So I'm just giving it a haircut. Now you can leave it just like that, but if you want her to have a little wiry hair, you could pull it out. Let me show you what it looks like. If you pull it out, it would look like a little more like this. That's just a matter of pulling the end, see? And you kind of get this really cool, it's almost like fairy hair, but I, it could be like mermaid hair. So that's up to you on how you like it. But I think I'm going to be really happy with it just like that. Isn't that pretty? And that's how you do your mermaid hair. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, we only have a couple little things left. Actually, one little thing. Once you get all finished with your mermaid hair, meet me back here and we'll just finish the last little mermaid Last coat. but not least, we're going to put in the sign for our mermaid cove. And I'm just going to cut this pair of scissors. May need some help on it. get someone older to help you kind of break it. And I don't mind it looking a little rough on the edge. I think it gives it kind of a fun look. But you do want to be careful that you don't get splinters. So be careful not to touch the edge. And there's my little my little sign. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to use hot glue. You can use the white glue, but again, you just got to wait for it to dry. And then you're going to write on it, I'm gonna write Mermaid Cove on it. Easy peasy. Okay, so now let's see. What I'll do is I'll hot glue it right there. Isn't that cute? And then I would hot glue this on, or white glue, clear glue, whatever you've got. And that's the end of my little mermaid. Isn't that cute? It's super easy, super fast to do. And you can make a lot of them and give them out as gifts or whatever you wanna do. I hope you had fun creating this. I certainly had fun teaching it. I have a lot more things coming. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked making this mermaid and I'll be coming up with a lot more projects. Can't wait to catch you on the next Creating with Grilla Art.